What's good, family? It's me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC, Lions Den Boston community. Uh, before we go any further in the video, like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, follow my brother, my partner, my warden, my Ron, Jared 011 Green here on YouTube. We have a uh, weekly show we do called the uh, Southern Baller Show. Uh, basically talking about HBCU football, uh, college football, NFL football, so on and so forth. All right, before we get into the video, uh, uh, been out a little minute, but we back to uh, uh, giving uh, these breakdowns on my alma mater, uh, Southern University. Uh, and basically, the position Southern finds themselves in at this particular point in time, uh, if Southern wins the Bayou Classic, of course, it's a Bayou Classic week. Uh, I'm preparing uh, uh, Thanksgiving weekend uh, to go to Bayou Classic, uh, watch Southern play against Gramley. Uh, of course, uh, in this edition of the Bayou Classic, Southern is a, a heavy favorite going into the game. Uh, Southern's overall overall record is 6-4. and four. Uh, Southern is 5-0 uh, at home, the undefeated at home. Uh, of course, I went to every last one of those games <clears throat> where they played against uh, Florida Memorial. Uh, they played against uh, Valley. They played against uh, Virginia Lynchburg. Uh, played against Prairie View. Not Prairie View, I'm sorry. Alcorn. <laughs> so I was at all those games at A.W. Muffin Stadium, Pete Richardson Field. Uh, however, Southern struggled on the road this year. Uh, they was 1-4 on the road this year, so... Uh, their swag record is four and three. The overall record is six and four. If they win Saturday's Bayou Classic, they play Jackson State in the swag championship game. Uh, Jackson State is undefeated, uh, and they won the swag East. Uh, so if Southern wins, Southern wins the Bayou Classic this weekend. They win the swag West. If they lose, then Prairie View, A and M, win the swag West, and they go on uh, have a rematch with Jackson State from last year's swag championship game. Uh, but for the most part, uh, Jackson State has been extremely dominant this year in SWAC play. All right, so just to kind of give a brief recap of some of the games I missed uh, while I was taking care of a lot of things I was taking care of. Uh, Southern played against Jackson State. Jackson State beat Southern 35 to nothing. Uh, of course, prior to the game, uh, Southern did something that I found to be extremely disrespectful from a coach's standpoint. Uh, you know, they did, a, they did a video and they sent it to... Uh, Deion Sanders Jr. Uh, and I found it kind of funny that in the game itself that uh, Jackson State was on the minor side of the field. Early in the game, uh, it was four down, and instead of punting the ball, Coach Prime went for it. Uh, then Southern got the ball. Southern went three and out. Southern kicked a field goal. Jackson State blocked it. Then thereafter, uh, Coach Prime, he pretty much did the same thing, got it on four down, and he – Went for it again. They didn't get it. Southern still wasn't able to capitalize. This time a missed field goal. So I found that kind of strange. But, you know, seeing the, the disrespectful video they made and sent to Coach Prime, I could see why uh, Coach Prime was, like, overly aggressive. And instead of punting the ball, he went for it. Uh, I mean, he could say otherwise, but I'm almost certain it was a certain degree of emotion that kind of played into that situation. Uh, and of course, uh, Southern lost 35 to nothing. Uh, but Sean McCray, he struggled in that particular game. Uh, because early in the game, in the first quarter, it was a defensive struggle. Uh, then the adjustment that Jackson State made, what they ended up doing was Southern was playing man to man across the, across the board. Uh, Jackson State got their running game going a little bit. Uh, then they started throwing the ball to the running back out the backfield, and Southern really didn't account for him. Uh, and they ended up scoring. And then Southern, the adjustment Southern made, Southern had a linebacker cover the running back coming out the backfield. And then allowed your daughter to just run wild. And uh, once Jackson State scored and they took the lead, uh, it pretty much was a landslide and things just kind of got away from Southern. And Southern ended up getting blown out. They ended up losing 35 to nothing. Uh, the next week, Southern went to Tallahassee. Southern always struggles against Florida, uh, FAMU. Uh, whether they play them at A.W. Mumford Stadium, Pee Richardson Field, whether they go to Tallahassee and play them, Southern always struggles against FAMU. Uh, and, 
again, Southern, you know, they lost in Tallahassee against FAMU. Uh, uh, this particular game, Southern secondary struggled. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Southern struggled to stop the run. So Southern defense just struggled all around. Uh, Deshaun McCray, he struggled from a passing standpoint, but from a running standpoint, he had, a, uh, he had like a 60, 70 yard run. He had a long run. Might have been 80, but I don't recall, but he had a long run during that particular game. Uh, that was like, you know, a little momentum swing at that point in the game. But uh, when Southern needed a big stop on the defensive side of the ball, Southern couldn't get that stop. And as a result, uh, Southern ended up losing that particular game. All right. And. Uh, week before last, uh, it was senior night at A.W. Marfa Stadium, people some field. Uh, Southern played against Mississippi Valley, and Southern ended up winning that game. Uh, Bashawn McCurry, he took Southern offense down the field on the opening drive. They scored. After that point, since it was senior night, uh, Coach Dooley uh, pulled uh, Bashawn McCurry, and he put in Glenda Bubba McDaniel. Uh, at this point, Glenn and Bob McDaniel hadn't played in weeks, and they showed he was extremely rusty. He struggled uh, during the course of the game. Uh, of course, it was pretty cold in the A.W. Mumford Stadium, extremely windy. Uh, the temperature ranged between, like, uh, you know, 35 to 40 degrees. Uh, the wind was blowing pretty good. Uh, and maybe the cold played into it, or maybe he just hadn't played in weeks, and that led to him struggling. But... Uh, Glenda Bowman McDaniel, he struggled mightily in that particular game. Uh, and it, But even with that being said, uh, Southern just has uh, more athletes, more uh, better players, uh, uh, more depth on the team. And as a result, uh, they ended up pulling out a win 27-7. Uh, and thankfully for Southern, after they beat Mississippi Valley, Mississippi Valley was able to turn around and beat Prairie View. And that sets up. Uh, this weekend's, uh, this coming weekend's Bayou Classic, uh, Southern is going to play against Gremlin in the Bayou Classic. If Southern wins, Southern uh, plays against Jackson State in the SWAC Championship game. Uh, so for this particular game, of course, I'm predicting a, a Southern win. Uh, but, you know, just watching Southern against Jackson State, against FAMU, and uh, in the last home game against uh, Mississippi Valley, Southern is a team, they lack discipline. Uh, they have a lot of like silly, silly penal penalties, especially on the defense side of the ball. They jump off sides a great deal. Uh, they jump off sides entirely too much. Uh, so if I was the opposing team, if, if it was third and, I don't know, six, third and seven, third and five, if it's third and five or less, I'm definitely trying to draw Southern's defense offside uh, because the defensive linemen, you know, they jump off sides a lot. Uh, even if it's like third and six, third and seven, I'm trying to draw them all sides uh, to get the free five yards. And then once it's less than third and five, I'm definitely trying to draw them all sides. So Southern needs to show more discipline. And of course, it showed uh, leading up to the Jackson State game, making a video, and then it, it transferred onto the field. So that's one thing Southern needs to clean up a lot of penalties. Uh, even on the offensive side, uh, you know, the offensive linemen, they jump off sides from time to time. Uh, they get quite a bit of holding the penalties also. So these are some things Southern need to clean up. Uh, Southern, uh, of course, they need to not turn the ball over uh, going into the Bayou Classic. Uh, Grandin has struggled most of the season. Uh, Southern is the heavy favorite in this game. I'm predicting them to win, but I don't expect a blowout. Uh, I think the game plan going into this particular game, Southern need to do what they normally do, just rely heavily on uh, the running game. <clears throat> and you know, run some zone read, read action, a read option uh, with Bashawn McCray and whatever back, whether it's Kendrick Grimes, uh, whether it's Carl Ligon, uh, whether it's Gerard Sims. I mean, they just need to get the running game going. <clears throat> Southern need to, uh, you know, clean everything, clean the issues up there on the defense side of the ball uh, because at times they struggle on the defensive side of the ball. So Southern, they need to play good defense. They need to rely heavily on the running game. And then have uh, Bashawn McCray make some plays in the passing game. Uh, and <clears throat> with those two things, with playing solid defense, relying on the running game, and, you know, cleaning up the penalties, the, the penalties and the turnovers, Southern should win this game. Uh, if they play a good enough game, uh, it should be a blowout. But I'm not expecting that. 
Um, I'm expecting maybe a 10 to 14 point win. I don't expect to be a be a nail nail biter type game. However, I'm not expecting blowout either. It's a winnable game, but uh, Southern needs to focus because I know it's in the Mississippi Valley game. In a lot of games, Southern play whether it's against Virginia Lynchburg, uh, Mississippi Valley. Southern plays down to the level of competition. Uh, I don't know if they just overlook these type of teams, but uh, Southern can't. It's the biggest game of the year. It's a rivalry game, so you can't afford. Uh, to not bring your A game, so you have to play well and you have to take care of business. So I'm expecting the Southern win, I'd say between 10 to 14 points. Uh, then to go on to the SWAC championship game to play against Jackson State. Uh, but that's all for this video. Like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, it's me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC. Uh, Y'all have a blessed, phenomenal day. Peace and blessings.